everybody, it's Chris Metric here from TDW Woodworks. Well, I just came back from a trip to Harbor Freight and I picked up a couple bags of stuff. Uh, recently I was paid for work that I'd done by somebody giving me a gift card to Harbor Freight. So my idea was I was going to buy a bigger item and use that money towards the purchase of it. But instead what I did is I went and got a whole bunch of stuff that I know that I'm going to run out of or will run out of at some point. So, like if you're working in the shop, you're like, oh my god, I'm almost out of rubber gloves, or the sandpaper is almost gone, or whatever it might be, you're always making a mad dash to get to the store. So I actually walked through Harbor Freight just to pick up some inexpensive stuff that I know I will need at some point, but I wanted to get that $50 gift card to its full advantage. So I bought some stuff and I thought I would review it with you today. Let me show you what I have and I'll tell you what my feelings are on, the, on these items. Well, you know, even though they're not of the finest quality, I always like to pick up some of those uh, sanding sponges. I just get one set of uh, the uh, fine grit, the medium grit, and the coarse grit. Um, you know, I go to these things, they're not, they don't last really long. I mean, I bought some higher end ones that were like, you know three dollars a single block but for what these are they actually work really well and uh, serve its purpose and they're only a couple dollars each so uh, the next thing I did is I picked out some uh, some vinyl gloves and some uh, nitro gloves Now I like to get the five millimeter when it comes to the vinyl gloves they're good really light to clean up but then if you get the seven millimeter in the nitro they're really a heavier duty glove and uh, you can get a lot of uh, stress and strain out of them and not have to worry about it ripping too much. I pick up our set of these uh, chip brushes. Uh, unlike the disposable sponge brushes, these don't really soak up the stain or you know whatever you seem to be applying. And you give them in a 12 pack, these are 3 inch ones and I always like to pick these up. They they serve a purpose and again they're pretty cheap um, you know for the cost of a couple of them at the big box store you get a box of 12 of these uh, the next thing we got are a set of these uh, titanium quick bits and uh, I have a full set of these and I've had them for several years but they're just starting to wear out and I've lost a few of them so now I got a full complete set again next thing is is this corner clamp um, I've been having trouble with some uh, clamp up and I've seen some people use these and they're really not that expensive comparatively speaking to like a Rockler or something like that and um, this one is interesting because it has quick release on it so instead of having to screw it down to the size you want it actually uh, by pushing the orange button it'll quick release to accommodate a wider or shorter board uh, make quick work of it when you're when you're doing a glue up but uh, I haven't really tested this just yet. I'll let you know once I get a little bit more testing involved with it. Uh, the next thing is, is I got actually a band clamp uh, for the corner. And this is sort of a ratcheting band clamp that you would use to uh, glue up a frame or whatnot. And uh, I see a lot of people use them. And for what the cost was, I think I get a pretty good job with my one gift card that I have. You know, there's a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to Harbor Freight. Well, Harbor Freight does serve a certain purpose for some people. It's low cost, maybe cheap imports, but for gloves, for brushes, for sandpaper, I mean, there's a lot of things there that are well worth the money spent. So, when you have your coupon for that 20% off and you've got a gift card for $50, I went and bought all these things and then out of my pocket probably cost me 10 or 12 bucks. So, uh, uh, definitely serves its purpose. Uh, give it a try if you haven't. and. I'd like to know what your opinion is on Harbor Freight. Maybe post something down below. Tell me what you're thinking. Other than that, you have yourself a great day. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks. And uh, get in that shop, get that woodworking, and uh, see you on the flip side.